So now we are going to specifically see what is the tuned collector oscillator. So tuned collector oscillator means it is going to use a tank circuit in the collector specifically. So it cannot uh, use the tank circuit anywhere in the amplifier. It has to use the tank circuit only in the collector side. So you see a simple tuned collector oscillator is shown here. You have a transistor. You have voltage divided by R1, R2. You have R parallel to C. And here you have the tank circuit C parallel to L. And I'm going to use a transformer. And secondary is connected to the base as a feedback signal. Okay, so a tuned collector oscillator is going to use a tuned circuit in the collector branch. It's connected to C. You know R1 and R2 and RE will establish the Q point. C is the bypass capacitor, which will uh, be available only at high frequency. So RB will ensure that the amount of feedback is adjusted. So uh, usually, you know, the base current will be very small. So RB value will be very large. Here, this RB has two purpose. One is to control the base current. Other thing is the feedback signal is coming only through RB. So if you choose the proper value of RB, it can control the amount of feedback which is going to enter the base. So you know the transistor is having a phase shift of 180. The transformer has a phase shift of 180. So the total phase should become 360. So the BH condition is satisfied. So the circuit is going to generate uh, sustained oscillations. And the frequency of oscillations will depend on these two parameters, the tank circuit only. Uh, across the primary, you have LP parallel to C. So this will decide the frequency of oscillations. F0 is going to be equal to 1 by 2 pi root of LP into C. And across secondary, I'm going to take and give the feedback signal to the base through the resistance RP. Since already I have 360 degree phase shift condition is satisfied, so in the feedback path, there should be no phase shift. But I cannot directly short the signal to base because the current will be very large. So I am going to introduce base resistance RP to restrict the value of current which is going to enter to the base of the transistor. So this is all about, we have about LC oscillators. So LC oscillators are used in high frequency applications. So three types of uh, oscillators we have seen. One is conventional LC oscillators, which is have Hartley, Colpitts, and Clap. Then we have Franklin and Armstrong oscillators, which are also LC oscillators. Last family we have seen about tuned collector oscillators. So having uh, the tuned circuit in the collector of your amplifier. So if you remove the feedback, this tuned collector oscillator will work like a tuned amplifier. So just because of one additional feedback and removing the AC signal which is available at the input, this tuned amplifier can be converted into a tuned collector oscillator.